be soft. It's supposed to be hard. The roughness is the defense mechanism the body uses to make sure that it can survive the next dishwashing you do. So by keeping your house clean, by brushing your teeth with toothbrush and fluoride in it, fluoride is a poison. They got a rat poison. They got a rat poison. But they got a rat resistance to rat poison. But them rats that are resistant to rat poison, they use fluoride. Fluoride is used to kill resistant rats. If it's used to kill rats, why is it in our toothpaste? The stuff we give our babies to brush their teeth with. So we start breaking down our baby's immune system as soon as we tell them, brush your teeth after you. These are the things we do each and every day. We destroy our own immune system. We are breaking down our own physical structure. These are the things that we got to learn. These are the things that we got to do to survive. These are the knowledge that we need to know. That's the us, as individuals, as a nation. Now, the last thing I want to speak about same way we gotta teach civilization. We are responsible. So we have to teach all human families on the planet Earth. This battle we got is not just in America. Africa is the motherland. They call it Africa. I'll use that term. Africa is the motherland, right? The devil wants the motherland. The devil has the motherland. The devil took the best part of the motherland, the black man, and brought him here and slave. Then they took over Africa. South Africa is all white. They control that. Zulu and, and, and Mandela ain't got no authority. They just there. They gave him the presidency, but they ain't give the diamond mines or the gold mines and none of that. They still got all that. As soon as Mandela became president, the rate of AIDS rise in Africa so much that we became the highest populated area on the planet with AIDS. After he came, you think the devil ain't got a master plan? They know exactly what they do. They still trying to kill us. They want Africa. World War I was fought over Africa. Don't listen to what the history books tell you. World War I was fought for one reason, possession of Africa. World War II was also fought over Africa. Hitler started conquering different nations. Little nations, they were insignificant. America was down with Hitler when he started his rampage. They didn't care about no Jews. They believed Jews, but they didn't care about them either, anyhow. Right? But what Britain realized was that every time Hitler conquered one of them small countries, he took over, they part of Africa. So little by little, he was taking over more and more of Africa. When Britain realized it, they said if we let him go any further, if he take over doing? any more Africa, he can rule the world and we can't stop him. Because Africa got all the mineral sources he needs to conquer the world with. He can take over the planet. That's when they fought against Hitler. And at the World War II, what did they do? They divided Africa up again. Yes. You got French speaking Africa. You got English speaking Africa. You got Spanish speaking Africa. Portuguese, you got Portuguese speaking, speaking, Africa. speaking Africa. You got Africans speaking every language with their own language. You got Africans believe in every religion. But they own. Their own religion. They believe they believe in Christianity. Mm-hmm. Judaism. Islam. That's not there. The Muslims came to Africa with the Holy Quran in one hand and the sword in the other. Accept Islam or die. Word right? is born to the Father. So they had to become Muslims just to survive. Those are none of their religions. We teach Islam is what? I so Lord and Master. 
Islam and Arabic mean peace. They are not peaceful people. They going in, have son. They amongst themselves. You have the Sunni fighting the Shiites. The Shiites fight the Sunni. They going fight in. each other. There is no peace amongst them. They are devils. Those are the ones that Muhammad made study for 35 years. 50 years of his life. life. Come on. And then Muhammad learned that he could never form the devil. Because they was a snake and were allowed to live on these things somewhere else. They are the devils that Muhammad was teaching. The same ones walking around your neighborhood, opening up all them damn grocery stores. Having our complexion, but not thinking like us. They the children of the devil. They were a lot of when the devil conquered the world, he left his babies everywhere to leave and continue their rule after they left. Mm -hmm. So the white man gone, but his children are there. Word is born. Who the hell you think killed Gaddafi? Gaddafi was trying to unite Africa. He was getting their own telecommunications satellite. He was developing their own banks. Right? Their own banking system. Right? These are all the things he was doing. He was united. He established. He was making the Federal Reserve notes go away. He was going back to the gold standard. Their money, null and void. It would have been null and void. They were not losing that. They would have been broke. They are broke. The United States has been broke since 1933. Word is born. France, England, Spain. All of NATO is broke. The only income they get is what they get from Africa and South America. They robbing us to sustain their own existence. They have no power. They got to hold on to what they got. This is the last day in time. There's nothing they can do to prevent their downfall and they know it. But they can hold on with the tightest grip to the bitter end. They murdering us in the streets. Every day you have a black person get murdered. You don't hear about all the ones they kill them. You only hear the ones about them, Trayvon. They made an issue about him. But there are a lot of brothers other than Trayvon that are getting killed. There are a lot of old people oh, God. that nobody know about that they're murdering and they're getting away with it. That's the law that was not mentioned in the 28th degree in the one to four. Mm. Bill God. Kill the black man any way possible. And they will defend themselves in their murder. They got away with killing Diallo. They got away with killing Elnor Bumpy. They got away with all these murders. They tried to get away with this last one. Trayvon. Right? But that didn't turn out too well for them. They still trying to manipulate their way out of that. Yes, they are. But I don't think they're going to make it. But they don't care they got to sacrifice what they own. When they blew up the World Trade Center. They sacrificed a whole bunch of their they own. They didn't care how many of their own people died. It served a purpose. When the World Trade went down, they was able to establish their homeland security. Mm-hmm. You know? They wanted to have homeland security. Here's what they want, and they got it. Now we got a military state. We live under military rule. The police running through our neighborhood like the, like the um, overseer walk through the plantation. Yes. To find out what these niggas talking about, what that nigga talking about. The United States is not... See this here? These are things that we do a lot of us might not even know about. Huh. Our people is working. They not in the nation of gods and earth. But they righteous. They teach you what they know to be the truth. They not teaching Christianity, advocate none of that bullshit. They went to Hay in the Netherlands. That's where they got the International Court. The international court is the court that brings charges against countries for crimes against humanity. However, they have been using this court to bring African countries, South American countries, to court for crimes against humanity. But yet, they get around it. They never 
bring themselves to court. But now we got a whole crew of lawyers, black lawyers, Africans, and Americans. They're gonna get together and went to the Netherlands to bring charges against the United States, England, Spain, France, Italy, Portugal for crimes against humanity. humanity. War crimes. Murder. For the murder of Gaddafi and other African leaders that they murdered. For overthrowing governments in Africa that they do not want to rule because they are not what? Democrats. And they're not their puppets. You know what I'm saying? They're not out, their scapegoats. So out, we got a universal fight in our hands. Not only here in America, worldwide. We here to take the devil what? Off the planet. This planet and this planet. It all belongs to us. Peace, God. Peace. Peace.